Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, for those of you who do not know. So today I wanted to sit down and try some new products with you guys. Some of these products I have been using, like they're new products, but I've been using them maybe for a week or less, I would say, and I'll call out those products as I'm using them and tell you what I think about them. But some of these products are also just straight new. So the first product I have, a friend actually gave it to me and I was very intrigued, white face protection. Some of you may know like in different countries, different cultures, they like the whiter the skin. I think it's in, uh, it's made in Korea. So I mean, here this is like considered problematic, but there it's normal. I guess this is a face primer, but it does say it's supposed to help like lighten um, dark spots. So this definitely is whitening. I'm gonna just put it underneath my eyes to help brighten because I don't necessarily want my whole face white. I just want like maybe my under eyes bright. How about that? Okay, I personally at home for my everyday, a lot of the times I'll either wear no primer or I do like a primer cocktail where I'll use one that's gonna give radiance and one that's gonna keep me matte or whatever it is. I'm gonna primer cocktail because I wanna try this. It's the Arborean Extra Matte Ultra Mattifying Primer. So this is supposed to help keep you matte all day, shine free, but it's also going to hydrate the skin so it's not gonna dry you out. I think a lot of us when we think matte, we think it's gonna make us look really, really dry. It's also going to blur the appearance of imperfections and pores, even out skin tone, give an ultra matte finish, refine skin's texture, maintain the skin's hydration, and it's supposed to help you lose 20 pounds. So it's like a gel-like formula, not a silicone feeling, and it has a nice smell to it. I like it. This summer has been really rough as far as my makeup routine goes. Um, normally, like every summer, I feel like I could still do a cake face and I'll get shiny, but it's not that bad. Like I'm usually pretty good at controlling it. But this year, I don't know what's going on. I have been getting, like nothing has been staying on my face. I am extremely sweaty or oily, as some of you would call it. N everything's just been sliding off and I'm just kind of frustrated because normally I'm good at this. I'm good at preventing that from happening. Um, so hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how this one does. You know when you have dry skin around your nose and it looks like a booger, but it's not a booger. It's just dry skin. That's what I have going on right there. Okay. This foundation is the Clay de Poo. Poo? Fuck. Clay de Poo. Clay de Poo. Silky Cream Foundation, SPF 23. Now this is very pricey. Why you ask? I don't know, let me see. It says, the beauty of a woman knows no age or time. Each day, each cell, a new beginning. <gasps> Individual skin cells, like brain cells, possess the power to think. Surrounding influences, positive and negative, define the future. Luxurious formulas that offer skin all it needs to be its best. Beaming with vitality, cell by cell. I, yeah, I don't know, but here's why I got it. Because some of you may know I am a makeup artist and a lot of times when I've worked on set or with other makeup artists, this usually is a staple in their kit and I always see it and I always eyeball it and I'm like, one day I'm gonna try it because I wanna know why it's so popular. It just looks really pretty and like skin. It doesn't look so makeup-y. Let's apply with my IT Cosmetics Superstar Flawless Foundation Brush. It's shaped like a star. Mine got really frayed over here. Accidents happen. So I would say this is probably going to give you more of a light to medium coverage. It's not gonna be super full. It really melts into the skin. I wore it yesterday. Yesterday was the first time I used it. I went out, I ran some errands, and the lady at the store was like, your skin looks so beautiful. She might've been trying to upsell me on something, but I think she was telling me the truth. And she was like, wow, your skin looks so beautiful and luminous and flawless. And I was just like, go on, tell me more. I will buy whatever it is you're trying to sell me, ma'am. I tried it with no primer yesterday and I got extremely shiny with it, the downside. But other than that, it just looked nice. It looked like skin, it didn't look too heavy. I'm coming back with my beauty blender and just kind of like pushing it into the skin. I like to do this after I apply the foundation with the brush because it will really push in foundation and then remove the excess. So it just looks more natural. Not that I'm going for a natural look today. Look at me. 
Okay, so you can obviously see that I have my pimples still showing through. Thank you so much, hormones, for these blessings. So I wanna cover that. This is my Handy Dandy Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. I've talked about this numerous times in different videos. It's my go-to, because it's the only thing that covers my hyperpigmentation, but I also like to dab it over like pimples to spot conceal. I think I buy maybe one a year. It'll last me a whole year, so I just bought a new one. I just love this. If they ever got rid of it, I would die. With my beauty blender and tap it underneath just where I have the hyperpigmentation, right here. If you have the hyperpigmentation under your eye, you don't wanna carry it along your whole under eye because it's so dry, it'll make you look extremely cakey. So you just want to go wherever the dark is at. Come over these pimps. Once I have evened out where well, I feel like my complexion is good, I'm now gonna do my concealer. So this is, same thing, the Clay de, Clay de Poo. I think I'm saying it right. This is uh, their concealer, it's in the shade Beige. Again, a staple in a lot of artists' kits. Artist kits. Here we go. Wanted to try it myself. I used it yesterday, it was nice. I layered it pretty heavy, it didn't get cakey at all which is always good. Again, not m like many answers as far as what's in this concealer to make it so expensive. Clay de Boo. You can use this concealer to spot conceal, but I feel like for me personally, I like a drier consistency to spot conceal because I feel like if it's too wet, it doesn't stay and it tends to move. I personally don't really, I wouldn't use this on my like breakouts or whatever is what I'm saying. This isn't new. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint and it's the shade Spite. But here is something that is new that I just found out. This bottom is like a powder. I had no idea. It has a sponge tip applicator and it applies powder for you. And then this side, if you've been watching my tutorials at all, is the liquid liner side. So you can get that precise like flick. I had no, it was an accident. I would like accidentally pop this off somehow. And I was like, what? What is this? I still like this side more. I just kind of flick it through my eyebrows. It stays all day, no matter how sweaty I get. This does not move. Normally I do my eyebrows before my foundation. Well, as of lately, that's what I've been doing, but today I forgot. Some random troll on the internet was like, your eyebrows look like the wings of a bird, and then posted a picture of like the Hollister sign. And ever since then, I've just been like, oh my God, they're right. They really do look like that. When it comes to my eyebrows, it's for them to not look like the Hollister bird's wings. Never forget. They kind of do though. <laughs> Huda Beauty, the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I've been using this off and on for a little bit now. It's not like life changing, but it's not awful. It has a very strong fragrance smell to it, which is the downside. It does not keep me matte. The Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent, that one will keep me matte. This one I would say it's nice for setting the under eye, but if you're looking to stay matte, I would, it's not my favorite. So why am I using it, you ask? I don't know. I think I like it underneath the eyes. If you're sensitive to fragrance, I would definitely say pass on this. It's not like a hint of something, it's strong, girl. It's real strong. <gasps> I inhaled way too much. Okay, let's move on to eyes while my powder sits and bakes my face. This is a new cover shot eyeshadow palette and it's called Pinks and Palms Eye Palette. I just thought it was really cute. I don't have anything like this at home. So I was like, I have to use this. I have to try it, okay? Let's prime my eyes first. What kind of look do I want to do? I need to figure it out right now. This is the Delium Tools 772 brush. It's just a small all over shadow brush. Let's do this one right here, this matte pink shade. And this I am going to place across my crease. Smashbox Shadow Blending Brush. This shade right here, I'm trying to decide. Right on the edge of that last shade. So I'm doing little circles and I'm going back and forth. Look at me go, here I am. And I'm just gonna grab this light pink right here. The arch of my eyebrow as my highlight for a little glowation. Can you see it? Yes. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, and it's the shade 104, all around white. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, I've been using these to like contour my face, for my eyes, for my lips. They are my new favorite. 
I need to do a favorites video, it's been a while. But I'm going to, you know how a lot of people do a cut crease with their concealer? I'm just gonna do it with this liner pencil instead. I always feel like when I use concealer, it just transfers, because I'm not waiting for it to dry. The reason I put a white all over my lid is because it'll make the eyeshadow pop a lot more, have something to stick to so it doesn't fade throughout the day, but also just kind of clean up the lid. All over shadow brush with that shade and just pressing it right on top of the white. I feel like I need something kind of darker in here because I feel like a child who got into like their mom's makeup. This darker pink again. Let's do like outer lid connecting in the crease. I kind of hate this. <gasps> it looks stupid. I didn't bring any other eyeshadows, did I? Um, um, maybe if we like blend this down or something. I just feel like a child. I don't like it. So uh, let's do the same thing to the other eye. I put a little bit of this shade mixed with this underneath my lower lash line. I'm just committing to the look at this point. It's not my favorite right now, but I'm dedicated. Well, really it's all I have. There's not much I can do. I'm taking a fluffier brush. I'm just going to wipe off the loose powder. This powder definitely adds a lot of texture to my under eyes. I'm going to spray the Wander Beauty Glow Getter Mist. This has glacier water, lavender oil, and evening primrose oil. Sometimes when you spray a setting spray after you dust off the powder, it'll help melt the powder into the skin and not look so cakey. So I'm hoping that's what this is going to do right now. This one smells exactly like the Pixie by Petra, the Glow Mist. I bet you it's like a pretty similar to this one. This is new. It's from CoverGirl. It's called the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. Peach scented, number 100. Ooh, it does smell like, it smells like chemicals, like that peachy chemical smell. It's pretty good. It's kind of weird to be smelling your makeup though. I don't necessarily care if something is scented or not as far as it coming to my face makeup because it doesn't really matter. I wanna know like at home, does it matter to you guys if there's like a nice scent to it? I mean, I understand it doesn't have to smell like garbage, but like lately everything has been scented. I don't quite understand. I'm using this darker shade to do this little contour situation. It's very warm. I should've just used it as a, as a normal bronzer instead of contour. Like your contour shade should be cooler tone it shouldn't be warm, but of course it's always preference, but I like mine to be a cooler tone for the most part. This is very warm. I'm gonna take my sponge, so if you ever just get way too much like I did over here, go over it with your sponge, push it into the skin, it will remove the excess, blend it a little bit more, soften it. Let's take this blush shade, cause it's cute. I hate my makeup right now. I'm not excited about it. It just sucks when you spend a bunch of time doing your makeup and like you don't like you don't like it. Cause then you're like, dude, I just wasted X amount of time and I, I look even shittier than I did in the beginning. This is a cute little highlighter. I'm gonna use a fan brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, let's do this in my tear duct for some glow in here. Ooh, yeah, cute. Oh, that's a nice color. I really like that. This is new. It's an eyelash curler, but I've been using this made for the last couple of weeks. It's by Seki Edge. It's a smaller eyelash curler for uh, targeted areas. Like if you have maybe one little hair in the corner that really doesn't curl, this you can get right in there and curl it. Over here, I have this couple lashes that go like straight down and they poke me in the eye and they irritate me. And yes, you know, get in there and you curl it up. And I believe I was reading on the packaging that they have a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. When when you think about that in a, like as a whole, it's kind of insane. Lifetime, your whole life, you know? Anywho, so I'm just really curling these outer lashes. I think these are nice too if you just have a, big, a hard time with the bigger eyelash curlers. You feel like you have a little bit more control. This is a new mascara from Hourglass. It's called Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. The packaging is, man, well, it's really pretty, but like, it just looks a little dirty. So this claims to lengthen, separate, but most of all, like not smudge at all. It has a really nice brush to it. I've been using this the last couple days. It does make my lash very long and separated, and it does not smudge. 
And let me tell you for the millionth time, I'm very sweaty and this like hasn't smudged. But out of my own curiosity, I wanna compare this to my all time favorite mascara, which is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. So I'm gonna do one eye with the hourglass and the other with this one. And let's compare, because I love this one. And this is only four, four to five dollars. This one is like 20, I think. Hourglass. On my right eye, I did the Lash Princess. My left eye is the new Hourglass Mascara. Let's compare. I love this Lash Princess one, I think. Way better. So, which one do you like? Hmm, can you tell the difference? I feel like this side looks more black, whatever. I think if I can't tell that much of a difference, then I should just stick with my Lash Princess Mascara. I mean, it's only $4.99. Looks like I have little uh, spider legs on my eyes and I'm not mad at it. Okay, so for my lip, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte, and it's called Bikini Babe. I was gonna do a bright pink, but then I feel like this would really take it to like a no look. So this is the finished look that I created using all these new products, kinda. Let's recap. This, I'm going to uh, let you guys know in the description, whoa, the description box below if my face stays matte all day. I have a feeling it won't, like I'm not very hopeful, but I'll let you guys know. This foundation is so, it's beautiful, but I can't justify the price. If you're looking for a light to medium foundation, you should just go with like a tinted moisturizer and there are so many on the market that are just as beautiful as this one. Don't know why it's so popular with makeup artists, so maybe I'm missing something. Huda Beauty Baking Powder. I personally don't like it with this concealer that I'm using. In the past, it hasn't kept me matte at all. I get really shiny with this one. But again, it is summertime. I'm really shiny in general and sweaty. So maybe wintertime this would be nice when I'm not so shiny. I'm definitely gonna keep like playing around with it because I do feel like there are times it looks really great. And then there are other times when it just looks cakey like today. So mixing and matching with different concealers, I feel like it does make a difference. The CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It smells great. Probably a nice, Bronzer shade, not so much for contour. Cute blush, I like this highlight a lot. It's cute. Smashbox Cover Shot Pinks and Palms Eye Palette. This is not my favorite. <laughs> okay, so this eye, I put the white liner down and off camera because I was just kind of over it, like this eye look. I didn't even bother to put the white eyeliner down. I know, lazy. I just didn't see the point because I didn't even like the look. But you see how this one looks a lot brighter than that one? Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. So like performance wise without the liner, it's like so dull, right? Even with a white liner down, it's still not that pop in. I feel like I have a shadow that would probably pop better. Visually, I really like these colors, but on me, I'm not liking them. The days that I have worn this mascara, cause I wore it yesterday as well. It didn't smudge. If you have a problem with every mascara smudging on you, this one does not smudge. Really though, I'm telling you, it did not smudge. And everything smudges on me down here. I still love this thing. That's on this eye. This one doesn't smudge on me. If I get wet, like I've been splashed in the face with stuff. Uh, yeah, and it's transferred before. But other than that, I've never really had a problem with this transferring. Only when things are splashing me in the face. This Wander Beauty Glow Getter Mist. Get the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. Smells exactly the same. It set my makeup exactly the same. Little too. This, white face. I probably won't use this. I don't even know why my friend gave this to me, but I just accepted it into my life because I like trying stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really good day today. Make good choices. Let me know what mascara you like better. This one or this one. Let me know what some of your new favorite products are because I'm definitely always open to trying new stuff. I love trying new stuff. I love it. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I said have a good day, make good choices, right? Okay, cool. Bye guys. Look how tan I am. I went outside. Oh yeah, sorry, cut.